Okay, this is Minister Gloria, and um, the date is August the 19th of 2022, and I'm going to, to pray this in with the Our Father, with the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. And they all said, they all said, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right. I haven't read any devotionals for a while. So I'm going to read a couple of my devotionals. Prayers on fire. I'm going to read this one first. Okay. I want to welcome you all to this broadcast. This will be on my YouTube channel, Back to the Altar Ministries. I hope I'm not pixelated. I had to go to a cheaper plan on my uh, internet service. I had to go to a cheaper plan, so I don't know how this is going to be. Okay, I'm going to read for August the 18th and for today, out of this one. Okay, faithful. Keep on giving your thanks to God, for He is so good. Let all His lovers who bow low before Him sing. His constant tender love lasts forever. And that's Psalms 118, verses 1 or I think that's Psalms 118, verses 1 and 4, I think. I think. Your constant tender love lasts forever. That's the theme of my heart. For so long I felt stuck. It seemed the wilderness season would last forever. My leaders could only help me so much, but the breakthrough I needed could only come from you. Sleepless nights offered me the chance to continuously turn my heart to you through my faith though my faith was sometimes weak I knew it would be better to trust you to save me than to put my confidence in the frailty of human flesh of human flesh and I hate to put my head down now I will live in my divine destiny I knew you wouldn't forget me and you didn't praise the Lord hallelujah you delivered me into a beautiful, broad place. You showed me the pathway to your presence, and I never strayed. I rushed through your gates with praise that, def that defied every enemy standing in my way. Wow. I lifted my hands in surrender, and I offered you songs of love regardless of how I felt. Regardless of how I felt. But I take no credit, not even for my love. Even that is a gift from you. I survived because of your grace. I survived because of your grace. So I will declare over and over again, you are good. Your constant tender love lasts forever. Amen. Amen. All right. Now the one for today. The one for today. Through it all. Well, hello, Sister Faye. Hi. Hi. Glad that you joined. Blessing, sis. Hi. Uh, I'm just reading a couple of my devotionals, and I'm going to read out my other one. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon your word. I've learned to depend upon your word. Hallelujah. All right, August 19th, through it all. That, that made me think of that song. All you lovers of God who want to please him, come and listen, and I'll tell you what he did for me. This is in reference to Psalm 66, 16. Lord, I'm exploding with excitement over what you've done for me. 
You brought me through the fire and purified my heart. I won't lie. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. At times I felt like a prisoner who couldn't break free from bondage, but you were with me through it all. You never gave up on me. You never gave up on me. You visited me when, with words that freely flowed into my heart, messaging, massaging out all of the, the kinks. Those living words washed over my soul until I could see clearly again. I wouldn't have made it without you. Isn't that the truth? We couldn't make it without God. We could not make it without the Lord. You saturated me with your goodness and gave me rest. It was when I realized that my own sin was keeping me from you. If I would have closed my eyes and ignored your correction, who knows where I'd be now. Instead, your grace drew me in. Your grace drew me in. You never ignored me, never cast me aside, not even at my darkest point. That's just it. He never, ever turns his back on us. He never does. Wow. You loved me through it all. Saw the best in me, even when I couldn't see it in myself. Even when I couldn't see it in myself. That is so... These devotionals are dead on. I finally realized that in all my reaching... In all of my striving, it was you I was longing for. We need Jesus now more than ever. Now I will live for you, holding nothing back. Amen. Let the fragrance of my life ascend as sweet-smelling worship to your heart. These are good. I hope I'm not pixelated. Now, I always upload these to YouTube, to my uh, Back to the Altar Ministries, and I'm not pixelated on there. So just in case this signal isn't very good i don't know i had to go to a cheaper plan on my internet you know greedy hungry people i had to go to a cheaper plan because they had raised my internet so that's what i had to do so i don't know but anyway all right this one is jesus first i haven't read out of this one for a while I got it out at Walmart. I've already got it marked, I believe. Okay, let's see. Got to find it. All right. It's pretty. It's pretty blue. Understand. Okay. I like what the verse is on the back of the book, Sister Faye. Seek first his kingdom Seek ye first of the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33. It, it's, it's from the NIV. I don't go by the NIV. So I read it the way that I know that it's supposed, supposed to be read. So here we go. For, this is for August 18. Contentment is beautiful. Be content with what you have, because God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Hebrews Chapter 13, verse 5, and that's in reference. The beauty in contentment is being at peace with where we are and what we have in the present moment. When we are busy focusing on what we could have, spending our energies on working toward the future, we may miss the joy of what is already ours. Contentment is not found in, th in striving. It is found in acknowledgement and rest. Yes. When we stop comparing our lives with others and instead focus on Jesus, we find that we have all we need. He is the fullness of joy. His presence is with us, and there is satisfaction in Him. He will never, ever leave us, and He won't ever abandon us. That's, he will never leave us or abandon us. This is His promise. Wherever we are, whatever we are doing, whomever we are with, God will never loosen His grip on our lives. He is our plentiful portion in every situation. He is our peace in every tumultuous time. He is abundant in love. May we find our satisfaction in Him. Ever-present one, thank you for your nearness. I am so grateful for the reminder that you never leave. When I start to jump ahead into the future, will you slow me down with, with 
the expansive peace of your presence where I am, I find all satisfaction in you. That's a good one. This is a good one. All right, now for today. Confident help. We can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? And that's in reference to Hebrews chapter 13, verse 6. No matter the trials that we walk through or the troubles that arise, we are never alone. The presence of God is our portion and there is no scarcity in him. Even when dark night, nights shroud our surroundings and we cannot see clearly, God is with us. He is the light that reveals where to go. He is the voice that instructs us. He is the love that makes and keeps us whole. Amen. Is there any place in your life where you lack confidence in God's ability to help you? Are there fears that, that drown out the truth of God's victory? May you find your strength in the presence of God today. Turn your attention to Him and invite His love, peace, joy, and courage to flood your senses. Right here, right now, He is with you. He sure is. He sure is. This is true in every moment. He is with you and He will help you. May your heart know the confidence of His power today. Amen. Lord of Lord, Lord of all help, I give you all my fears and I take hold of your strength to walk forward in spite of them. I know that you are with me and you will not let me down. Strengthen and behold me. Be my courage, my faithful God. That's our prayer. It can be our prayers to Him. These are these are awesome. These are these are awesome. And and I like I said I've known I've known myself. He always takes me through. He always takes us through. We get down. We get down. And I know for a fact he's he always takes me through. He always takes us through. <clears throat> no matter what, he always takes us through. And you know that you know how the old devil works. You know how he works. He'll he'll make he'll make you doubt. Like where is your God now? You know, think just things like that. You know. Yes, he does. And we have to just we have to just tell him. Tell him, you know. Not today, devil. Not today. Not today. And you know, I felt so good when I finally rebuked him. I was told that we cannot rebuke the devil. Yes, we can. And when I realized that, I felt a whole lot better. I felt a whole lot better. I felt a whole lot better. Okay, well, there's my devotionals. I wanted to get on here and read a couple of devotionals. I, I have another word coming from the Lord. He gives me little bits and pieces. Lawlessness abounds is the name of this next one that he's, he's going to be giving me. I never know when he says grab a pen and write, I grab a pen and write. And I always tell everybody to pray, to pray to the Lord. He gives me these words. I can't explain it. I'm not supposed to. It's the workings of the Holy Spirit. The workings of the Holy Spirit. You know, me and others. Me and others. It's a gift. It's one of the gifts. It's one of the gifts, Sister Faye. And I thank God. I thank God. Even as imperfect as I am, that He loves me enough to speak to me, to tell, tell people, to tell the people, correct, I love you, you and sister, you and Yvette, you and Yvette, and of course there's others too, there's others I love too, I always told her she was my right arm, you could be my left, my left arm, <laughs> Oh my, 
Well, Sister Faye, blessings to you. I love you. And also with the love of Christ Jesus. And I hope that you have a rest. I hope you have a blessed rest of the day. It is about 20 minutes till 6. And uh, I may do an outside one tonight with the light. Um, I may try to do an outside one. Amen. Amen. So anyway, to all the replay viewers, I love you all with the love of Christ. Okay. I love you all with the love of Christ Jesus. Be blessed and not stressed. And like I say, when I, when I tell you guys, I'm telling myself the same thing. Because God always works everything out. He always does. He always does. Just stay in faith. Stay in faith. You know, He will make a way when we think there is no way. Like in, in my case, you know, we still have an, another, this is the 19th. Our payday isn't until the 3rd. So, he will make a way. He'll make a way. That's for sure. Again, he always does. He always does. So I'm going to do the, do the Our Father and go ahead and close this out. And I'll probably be out there after a while by the, li the light. And I always love what a dear pastor friend always says. May your lives be filled with the light that is in Christ Jesus. I love that. May your lives be filled with the light that is in Christ Jesus. So this has been Minister Gloria Drummond, Back to the Altar Ministries. And I'm going to do the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. This is what the word says. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, Amen. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen, Sister Faye. Amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. All righty. I love you. And to all of you that will join on the replay, blessings again to each and every one of you. Be blessed and not stressed. Give it to God. Take it to God. And He will see you to an expected end. Amen. He will see you to an expected end. Take heart. Take heart. All right. Good night or goodbye for now to my next broadcast, which will be probably be tonight. So I love you all. Okay. Bye bye for now. If I can get this, there we go.